Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about Niemann's Pick disease. So Niemann's Pick disease is a type of lysosomal storage disorder. So uh, it has various types. It has A and B type and a C type also. So A and B type, they are a distinct entity altogether from the C type. So uh, mainly what happens in A type is there is deficiency of sphingomyelinase enzyme so therefore if the enzyme sphingomyelinase is absent it will not be able to break down sphingomyelin and therefore the sphingomyelin accumulates in the lysosomes so this is the main pathology behind the Niemann's pick disease A and B however in the type C what happens is there is a mutation in a gene NPC1 and NPC2 gene here, these are responsible for the transport of cholesterol. So, in uh, you have to remember in the Niemann uh, pick disease type C, there is no uh, role of the sphingomyelin. Now, going to what is sphingomyelin? Sphingomyelin is actually the component of cellular membranes. In all the cellular membrane, you have sphingomyelin. So, whenever there is degradation of the cellular membranes the turnover takes place in the body so what will happen there will be release of sphingomyelin and if there is sphingomyelinase is absent uh, there will be no degradation of the sphingomyelin and that will accumulate in the lysosomes and this accumulates mostly in the cells of the mononuclear phagocyte system that is your macrophages in organ uh, organs such as liver in spleen so it will accumulate over there now uh, how is this ge uh, genetics of the disease? So this disease is typically inherited as autosomal recessive disorder. Okay, but sometimes uh, heterozygotes also can develop this disease if they inherit the mutant allele from the mother because of the genomic imprinting. Because of the genomic imprinting, what happens is mostly the parental paternal gene is silenced and only in the body the maternal chromosome is expressing this gene now if only the maternal chromosome is expressing that gene and that gets mutated then the person can also develop a uh, Niemann's pick disease okay heterozygote person can also uh, get this disease mostly it is autosomal recessive now going to the types so types uh, there are uh, a b and c okay so a is a uh, type in this it is a serious form okay so it is a serious form it is an infantile form it uh, okay remember it is a serious form it infantile form it leads to early death of the person and it also there is also cns involvement so it is a classical infantile type in this there is complete deficiency of sphingomyelinase and it is a severe form there is a neurological involvement is present and the death usually occurs within first three years of life there is no treatment whatsoever available for the type a it is mostly uh, the treatment is mostly uh, according to the symptoms of the person and not curative now going to the type b disease type d disease the persons they have a milder disease and these persons survive into adulthood there are no cns involvement okay whenever there is no cns involvement the prognosis uh, itself becomes better the persons will have organomegaly and these persons can be put on enzyme replacement therapy on your bone marrow transplantation so this can be managed then going to the morphology of each and every cell due to the disease okay so the affected uh, cells are mostly the mononuclear phagocyte system that is your liver your spleen lymph node so these are involved so how, what happens the affected cells they become enlarged because there is distension of the lysosomes with the sphingomyelin now there is in the each cell there will be small small vacuoles which will be formed so this will give appearance of a soap bubble to that cell so in this picture you can see numerous cell and these have very much vacuolations okay it gives appearance of a soap bubble to the uh, cell in the frozen section okay because these uh, there is a sphingomyelin uh, so the vacuoles they stain for fat then in electron microscopy you have to remember oil if the fat stains you do it will come to be positive however if you do the past staining it will be negative we discussed another 
lysosomal storage disorder that was gaucher's disease in gaucher's disease the pass comes to be positive here the pass is negative in electron microscopy you will see uh, actually in gauche lysosome and they appear as zebra bodies now going to various organs which are involved so in spleen spleen will be massively involved okay sometimes it can be such uh, it can be around 10 times its normal weight also the the liver is involved but the hepatomegaly is not so much striking the spleen is involved uh, and produces a massive enlargement then lymph nodes are again enlarged in the brain uh, importantly in the type a so what happens the gyri are shrunken the sulci are widened and the neuronal involvement also because the neurons they get vacuoled and there is ballooning of the neurons this is also diffuse so uh, uh, leading to the cns uh, symptoms in the uh, eye there is a uh, red cherry spot which can be seen on retinal examination now this can be seen in multiple diseases like you have tay sachs disease also you can see it so this can also be seen in some patients of your uh, neiman's pick disease so how the diagnosis is made diagnosis is made by the biochemical assays of the sphingomyelinase activity in your liver or bone marrow biopsy and also dna analysis can be done so this is mainly about the type a and b so what happens in the type c now type c is totally different in entity in this there is mutation in two genes you have npc1 gene and npc2 gene so npc1 gene is mostly responsible for around 95% of the cases and this is uh, the it is responsible for your lipid trans uh, transport they are involved in the transport of the free cholesterol from the lysosome to the cytoplasm when this is absent the free cholesterol will again stay back in the lysosome and lead to the disease okay so it is a main disease of not of the enzyme and mainly about the transport system here also the uh, disease it varies uh, according to the some patients they can uh, present in the infantile and there can be neonatal hepatitis and death can occur very early on in type c but some patients also present as chronic form but here the cns involvement is there okay only cns involvement is not there in the type b form so this is all about the neiman's pick disease do ask your questions in the comment box thanks for watching this video thank you